Hi guys. Welcome, welcome and welcome back to the Power BI Pro Tips by Tejas. So in the today's video, let us see how to make the slices more attractive, more intuitive and more stunning. So let us straight away dive into the Power BI desktop and let us do this process in three simple steps. In this video, again I'll be using a financial data set. So let us go ahead into the data view and see what we have got. So we basically have various segment information, various country information, various product information, discount brand, units sold, revenue, discounts, profits and so on. In addition to that, we also have a standard date table. So let us straight away go to the report view and see what we have got. So I basically have two types of bar visual and I have a waterfall visual. So one is revenue by countries and one is revenue by products and the other one is revenue by segments. So now our today's motive is to convert this raw slicer into the most attractive and stunning slicer. So let us go ahead and do that. So let us click on this country slicer and let us go to format. So under format, we need to go to slicer settings and the slicer settings we need to change the style to buttons that is nothing but tiles right over here we need to play around a bit such that each and every cell will be one below the other because if you extend the width might become horizontal or collapse so we need to make sure and play around a bit and make sure that it is one below one another just like this all right so now let us go ahead and get the product slicer discount band slicer and the year slicer okay so let us go to the data set and let us get the product slicer let's convert this to slicer so we would be getting it just like that so now let us go to format let us go to slicer settings under slicer settings we need to click on tile okay once again make sure that it is one below the other make sure that the alignment is proper it is very important now i don't have enough space here right so let us go ahead and increase the page size let us let me go to canvas settings over here let me change the height to 1200 now let us go to view and let us click on fit to width let's ensure that the alignment is proper once again let us go ahead and get the discount band slicer okay discount band slicer let us convert this this similar to that the tips are to go to format and slicer settings and change this to tiles okay make sure that the alignment is proper once again since we have more space over here we can increase our visual size as well change the background color to light gray as that would look more attractive we just decrease the transparency okay go to format and over here we need to go to values under values let us change the font color to white and let us change the background color which is relative to visuals and the background would be green all right let us go to green let us make it a bit even more relative okay i think we could make it even more darker right say somewhat similar to that of visuals 
lot later yeah yeah this should be good and let us increase the font size to 12 at least or else let us change another font let us change the font to arial and let us increase the size a bit you can either select arial black as that would make it more visible now what we shall do is we shall change the border of these items so let us go to selection and we shall change the border format so we basically have the border position top bottom left and right what we shall do is that you know we shall uncheck everything except left so let us select left and now let us select black and increase the line width to its max yeah did you see that how attractive it looks so let us do that and having done that if at all if this slicer is very well understood that canada france germany all our countries or all, all, all different locations right so we can get rid of this title country right so let us go to vision let us remove the slicer header similarly we can format the rest if you are familiar with the products let us get rid of the country this way we got rid of country we shall get rid of the product title as well you can format them as it is as we did just now that would complete our job that's it guys that's all for today so this is how you convert a raw slicer into a stunning slicer so make sure that you practice it guys the data set has been given in the description box below okay so guys see you in the next video so make sure that you subscribe so that we do not miss out in the future videos till then happy analyzing and take care guys bye bye